Soggy, saturated, soaked, whichever word you use, there is no shortage of moisture in the metro. And there is likely more on the way. Good evening. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Melissa Fry. for Brandy Peterson. We'll have the forecast in just minutes, but first, this morning's storm. Some areas received up to eight inches of rain. KETV News West Chin Chindone is live with people who are left cleaning up the big mess. I'm at 13th and 17th Avenue Council Bluffs where it's still raining and all that water all day left drivers stranded in flooded garages like this one. In fact, in this garage here, water levels reach as high as 9 inches. You can see the ruler against all of these tools and watermarks here. But for these residents, it was even worse inside their homes. Okay. Mike Roan is walking on water. But the miracle is how quickly he reacted to flooding at 6 a.m. Get everything off the floor. Roll the carpet up real quick. Hope. Water seeping through cracks and walls of this Council Bluffs home, turning a basement into a swamp. It started first in this bedroom. Uh, you can see the water level right here. This is where the water was outside. And outside, water covered his backyard, even and sweeping away the once neatly stacked logs. Then, Roan says, Nine inches more consumed his garage. Battery chargers, um, power inverters, a lot of my Jeep parts were just sitting on the ground and now they're wet. A similar situation throughout Council Bluffs, a flooded alley near 29th and Avenue G. Fun for the kids, but work for others. There's where it came in. Several inches of rain left in the window wells outside Community of Christ Church and soaked carpet inside. Well, you can see the water. Bill Push rushed to the church to clean up water and mud. I think what it's saying is the sump pump may, may have had or may have backed up a little bit. Now a lot of patience and money to get things back to normal. We turned on the fans and and turned the heat on a little bit. Not everything will be replaced. Just simply can't afford it. But if I would try to replace everything, it'd easily be six thousand dollars. In the garage alone, we haven't assessed out here. The homeowner tells me his sump pump was working well, but this is now the second time his basement has flooded in the past two years. Live in Council Bluffs, Chindone, KETV, News Watch 7.